welcome this video will be a funny one uh, at least uh, I hope so what basically we will do is try to crack this uh, uh, old version of uh, the flash fxp uh, program uh, uh, just using this uh, wonderful uh, software resource hacker we won't use any assembly code or uh, hexadecimal uh, editors so let's launch the program uh, first and here you see that we have 30 days uh, left uh, evaluation uh, period so what I can do let's try to change the uh, the date I have uh, already changed that I was playing with that before recording the video so it's not the, the month you have so before it's January now okay let's execute the program and it's uh, still uh, thir uh, 30 days let's change again let's give it uh, 2011 and here we see we have uh, zero days uh, left okay and uh, please purchase the uh, ex uh, flash fxp to continue okay here we see it will ca count uh, from 30 to 0 then it will uh, uh, I think it will enable this uh, button or just let's say what uh, let's see what it will uh, do I am not sure okay there we go we can uh, continue but uh, what I want to do is I don't want to uh, uh, wait the 30 uh, seconds okay so let's open resource hackers resource hacker I'll open and there it is flash fxp which is in the program files okay there uh, then I go to rc data and I log for a particular uh, folder this one then I expand that and I go here here we see uh, there is something like visual basic uh, code and if I scroll down we see this this is the uh, a button and this is the function that uh, will be triggered will be uh, executed when we uh, click on that button there then there is the second button with by now and there is also the uh, uh, fourth button and the second button with enter code and it executes this function what we don't see here is the uh, b1 uh, click function and this is the first button but it's enabled here so basically uh, this is uh, the button when uh, enabled when the uh, 30 uh, uh, days evaluation period has expired so uh, we won't miss with that so what i will do and, and see but i will show you anyway for example i want to make this button uh, invisible so what I will do is do this visible equals um, false okay so that way we want to see that button and here uh, I will change for example this to bypass okay just that so and here I will assume that the b1 click is the function that will uh, show us the uh, simple window of the program so let's just uh, try that I don't want uh, I don't know if that will work and here is the exit so we won't uh, mess with that let's compile a script and uh, save so let's see what it has done it has basically made a backup and saved uh, the file with flash fxp so this one this one the modified one uh, that will be executed when we execute the shortcut here so it does you see that the first button is uh, no longer visible so if i click bypass you see i have my program and i can use it like if i have purchased it okay this is an old version and uh, i don't think it will work in the because this is uh, uh, 2.1 I don't think it will work uh, in the uh, last version of the program uh, 
So it's not, uh, I don't think uh, I am hurting the developers of this particular uh, software. Anyway, uh, I, I, I will show you more. Uh, I won't uh, <laughs> tell you thank you now because I want to show you more uh, about this program. So basically here you can change uh, whatever you want. So for, um, not all you want but basically a lot of things uh, for example you can ch change the cursor if you want uh, your own cursor you can change it here you can change uh, the icons so if you don't like uh, this particular icon you can change it here and also uh, the strings so if you, you you want to change some string for example this is done uh, if I want to translate uh, a program, uh, we basically use a resource hacker to uh, translate, for example, from English to uh, uh, to French, uh, for instance. Uh, so I will uh, just uh, uh, translate the uh, interface, the software interface, but not the uh, code. Okay. So now I can say thank you, thank you.